If you'd like to see some successes and a flop, stick around. Hey everyone, this is Viv. I am Viv and this is Stitches and Seams. Thanks for coming back, appreciate it. So just gonna walk you through what I made last month, what worked, what didn't, because there is some of that. Um, and yeah, that's it. It's, I have some things to actually show you and then the other things I have photos to uh, pop in for you. So let's review what we did have or what I did say I was gonna do. So on my list, I had the Ash Jeans, the red pair from Megan Nielsen that I was finishing up. And those have been finished and paired with the Crystal Cove Cami from Itch to Stitch. And any links that I have, I'll put down in the description box. Just be aware that uh, any Itch to Stitch is an affiliate link. So if you purchase something through that link, I'll get a small portion. So yeah, we had the red ash jeans <clears throat> and I put it with that cami and it's a really cute um, little outfit. The next one, was, the next big one was the Cindy jacket and some of you will have seen the video uh, that I did and hopefully you, you will have seen Karina's video as well. And the following the follow up uh, welt pocket tutorial that Karina made, which if you haven't watched it, head over to her channel. I'll put the link, the little card thing in my bob for you guys because it really is very helpful. And that's really the only thing that might kind of hang you up on the Cindy jacket so you can make one for yourself. The, let's see, um, I'm gonna go through all of them and then I'll come back to the fail. <laughs> Um, my daughter has prom this weekend, so she purchased, or we purchased, a dress for her from a local department store, and she's very tiny. She's only five foot tall, um, so she's tiny this way and that way. Um, so I took off the hem because it's it's a big, it's a high low. Uh, dress and I'll try to put a photo in here. I might have to share one later with you guys. I'm not sure how it's going to work. So I, I made it to where um, it will work for her height and then I actually had to take take the bodice in some as well because it was too big through the bust area and the waist area. So I, I have to take off my list because I don't want to get lost. Okay so then I made the Layer Me Up t-shirt for myself and my oldest daughter, they're matching. And I'll put a photo in of mine. I don't have a photo of her in hers yet, but here's mine. And that is from Patterns to Patterns for Pirates. And as you know, that's one of my favorite uh, t-shirt patterns. I love it. It's, it just, it works for me. And I can sew them blindfolded now pretty much. Um, and the, the hack for that to do the yoke is on the channel and we'll put a link to that up here in the cards as well. Um, super easy and you can have so much fun. I mean, it doesn't even have to be like a print and a solid. It could just be two solids, it could be color blocked, it could be stripes and flowers, whatever, you know, whatever it is that you want to do. So have a look at that if you're interested. Then I was supposed to be making the Mila uh, shirt which is also from Itch to Stitch, and I'll link that again in the bottom, or in the description box. I've got it cut out, but I have not advanced past that stage. Um, yeah, this month has just been crazy, um, crazy busy, and so I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to kind of dialing it back a little bit. Um, so yeah, the Mila is cut, but not sewn. The Minerva make is done, and of course I can't share that with you yet, but you did see the fabric in the April Plans video, so we'll link that above for you as well, just in case you didn't see it and you might want to look. Um, that will be, I'm not sure when that's coming out on the Minerva blog, I'll have to like let you know. Um, then I had a pattern test um, that I just finished, and I can't share those photos with you yet either. However, it should be 
being released very soon. And <clears throat> excuse me, those uh, photos will go up on my Instagram if you're interested in finding out what I've been up to. So I have those. And then also I had the, excuse me, pant block class with Andrea from Sew to Fit. We'll link her channel up here in the iCards for you. Um, so basically you sign up for the class, you get a custom pant block, and then she helps you fit that block to your body. And I've got mine all printed out and I'm ready to cut my muslin fabric. And when I get back in town from the weekend, I will be doing that. That's gonna be my main focus because I definitely wanna make some progress with that very soon. Um, then comes the fail. So you guys know that I've been kind of doing a, a menswear series <laughs> right out of the gate. The first one's a flop. Um, and it's not, it's not like a total flop. For me, it's a flop. I'm not happy with it. Um, I took his old tie apart and I made a pattern. These are the pattern pieces. It's like a clown tie. And um, yeah, so the tie pattern itself could have been better. I think my first and foremost mistake was I used a cheap tie to make a pattern off of. Um, I didn't have a sewing pattern, but I'm going to go get one because I want to redo it now because I want to get it right. Um, I, that's a thing I have. I just, I need to get it right so that I can move forward. <laughs> but the uh, lining pieces and everything that were inside of the tie that I harvested, they were, they were all kinds of odd shapes. It didn't even make sense. Um, so here is the tie itself. And it's funny because when I was looking, um, it, I don't, hopefully you'll be able to see that. It's kind of, um, instead of a tip, it's kind of straight at the bottom. But then when we looked at the photo of his tie, that ties the same way. So I didn't mess up in that particular regard. It was the tie pattern that I got from that. So yeah, I am slightly bummed because <laughs> this fabric was not cheap. Um, but I do have some left. I don't know if I have enough left for, um, you know, to make another. Well, I'll have to see. But yeah, I'm kind of bummed. I can't remember how to tie a tie. Something like this. But yeah, I'm kind of bummed. And um, Jack, being the good sport that he is, was just like, it's not that bad. <laughs> I'm like, nah, babe, it's, it's bad. So, I mean, I would be embarrassed if you wore it and somebody was like, hey, where'd you get that? And you said that my wife made that. that that's not how you tie a tie. <laughs> yeah, I would be embarrassed. So that's my flop, my fail flop. Um, I mean, sewing it together wasn't difficult or anything. I think I just need to have an actual pattern to, um, to start with, you know, to have as my foundation because the pieces were just wonky. Um, that's the back side. And the lining pieces that I harvested just, they were shaped really weird. Um, and they just, I mean, they just didn't, it didn't work. So hopefully I will be able to salvage this, um, project. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to use that fabric, but who knows? I might be able to, I'm going to look for a tie pattern and see what I can see. Well, you know, go from there. <laughs> so yeah, that is pretty much it for what I've been up to in April. I have been doing some knitting as well. Um, I had a few days where I wasn't really feeling so great. So, um, I can generally knit on those days, but climbing the stairs to come. sew is not, not really one of those things. That's an option. So yeah, I did some knitting and, um, that's, that's really it. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you like what you see here, don't forget to hit subscribe, share it with your friends, give us a thumbs up, and we will see you all again next time. Take care. Bye.